Peace and blessings, elders, brothers and sisters, to our young people out there that's walking the walk and talking the talk. I say peace and blessings to everyone on today. This is your mastermind session with yours truly, Amar Mari. I am the founder of El Kebalon Unity Alliance. I am a serial entrepreneur. We have Synergetic Network Group LLC, where we the community liaison for entrepreneurs and consumers. Uh, we have El Kebalon Lifestyle, where we provide African clothing and accessories that presents an outward expression of your inward pride as an African. We also, my queen Amani Mari and I are real estate investors. And my queen is the executive director of all of the above. We're going to dive in on today. I don't know how many of you possibly have had training wheels on your bike um, until you were capable of riding the bike on your own. And I think about that because a lot of us, we are holding on to people that we need to let go that we have taught. And it's time for them to be a practitioner of the information that has been disseminated to them. Some of us, we continuously help people out of their situations and they never learned their lesson because they haven't felt the pain of their poor decision making. Why? Because we continuously bail them out and we unfortunately become a crutch to them. So in essence, it's like keeping the training wheels on a bike. If the training wheels never come off, they'll never learn how to ride the bike themselves. And also there'll be times where they're going to fall and they may have some bumps and scrapes, some bruises. However, they'll still learn how to ride themselves they'll be able to do it on their own. How can someone ever function in life if you continuously keep thinking for them, doing things for them? They'll continuously be a dependent person rather than an independent person. I'm a father. I'm also a grandfather. And my, my son, he'll be 20 years old on this month. And we have, my queen and I, we have a grandson that's a little over one years old and I recognized how as my son learned how to walk he learned how to walk because he started letting things go he would hold on to things and my grandson alike and they would get their balance and they'll take a couple steps and they'll fall down however I would not go pick him up or them up they would get up on their own and they will start getting their balance again and they'll start walking again and they'll take even more steps. And then eventually my son and grandson started walking on their own. So with that being said, you have to let a person go so that they can grow. They have to learn how to experience life themselves. A life is a wonderful teacher. And if we don't allow people to learn these lessons, then unfortunately we're doing them a disservice. We become an enabler. We're, we're giving them the ability to continuously depend upon us. And they'll continue to spend their money wrong. They'll continue to get themselves in trouble. Why? Because they have a safety net. Listen, if you remove that safety net from up under them, I guarantee you they'll hit the ground hard enough to where they'll get up running. They'll start doing it on their own. <laughs> Some of us need to remove the safety net from under them. Listen, the reason why they keep jumping out there and doing foolish stuff, because unfortunately we become that safety net. We become a crutch to them to where now they're on crutches uh, mentally in their lives to where they can't function on their own because uh, we keep rescuing them from their situations unto moms and dads who are doing this listen you're doing your children a disservice they have to learn how to work okay you can't keep doing everything for them they need to learn the value of a dollar a good work ethic you understand so what happens is even in our lives our friends we keep 
uh, consoling them in their pity party. Listen, sometimes you have to be a party crasher. Sometimes you have to crash their pity party in order for them to grow up. Listen, I'm sorry to hear about what you went through in your life. Okay, but it's time to get up and get out and get something. It's time to move on. How long will you continue to stay there in your life? It's, it's not producing any good fruit. Okay, it's only producing stagnation. All right. And they're, and they're not able to reap anything good out of them continuously staying parked in their mind mentally in their past situation okay uh they're living in yesterday when they should be enjoying their today so they can create a better tomorrow for themselves so it is incumbent upon us to ensure that we are holding people accountable that is a lot of times the problem is that uh people don't want to be around people that hold them accountable because you know why it, 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 you know, they, they don't want to grow up because if they did, they couldn't be a Toys R Us kid. You understand? There's so many people playing with life. They're taking life as a joke. But unfortunately, life is nothing to be playing around with because unfortunately, we will find ourselves uh, and themselves with life having the last laugh. Okay, there is no laughing matter. Okay, life is to be taken serious. And we have to ensure that we hold people accountable around us. Listen, they need to grow up, okay? We have to stop making these lame excuses and then we're, uh, you know, pacifying somebody, giving them a pacifier. Oh yeah, you know, oh we, you know, oh yeah, so sorry. And you know, you're always there just stroking, you know, their, their emotional ego. No, it's time to grow up. It's time to become mentally stronger. Only the strong survive in this hard world, all right? And, and, and sometimes people have to mature mentally. And the only way that they can do that is by you telling them, listen, it's time to grow up so that you can go up. Listen, it's time for them to grow up so they can go up, okay? Listen, nobody can go up by constantly looking down, all right? Last time I checked, when you go in the elevator, when you press... The, the down button is going to go down. So how can there be any elevation in someone's life when you constantly allow them to look down on themselves? Okay? When you constantly allow them to say what they can't do. Oh, okay, no, we won't go to the gym today. Oh, no, 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 you know, no, no, no. Oh, it's okay, you know, uh, you can eat this today. We pacify them. We give them comforting foods when they should be working out so they can lose weight. But we're buying the snacks for them, you know. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes you know, uh, sometimes people, you know, they 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 get rid of things in their life and then they put it on other people, right? You know what I'm saying? No, we got to hold people accountable. Listen, you don't listen to gangster rap no more. You shouldn't give it to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because it's poisonous. It's toxic. Okay, you stop smoking cigarettes. You don't go give it to somebody who's smoking. Listen, you getting rid of it because you know it'll destroy you, right? Right. So now it has to be a sense of accountability. You know, this is something that we need to do to ensure that people grow up. You know, a lot of times we're pacifying, you know, gangster rappers. Oh, you know, and, oh, they're not on the streets no more. And, you know, oh, you know, they're not selling drugs, but, you know, they're still rapping about it. They're still pushing it. All right. The content. OK. And, and because, you know, they came off the streets, only thing they did was take the street content into the studios. But we pacify that. You know what I'm saying? We pacify, you know, uh, well, you know, they had a tough life. Oh, we don't know that story. Listen, let me tell you something. Do you think about a homeless person? A homeless person will come up to you. They will beg you for food. They will even have a sign that says, I'm willing to work. Now, this is a homeless person that's in a worse situation than these uh, individuals who's out here robbing, stealing, and killing, and selling drugs, doing crime. OK, this is a person that's in a worse situation than they are. And they still won't come up to you with a knife. They won't come up to you with a gun. OK, they, they won't come and snatch your purse. They'll come up to you and say, ma'am, sir, can I have a dollar? Can I have two dollars? Now, see, we're talking about mental power here. We're talking about mental strength here. You're talking about a homeless person that's willing to come into your yard. And some of these people actually have a roof over their head they have clothes on their back they have shoes on their feet okay they they have somewhere you know to to rest themselves but because they want to live the good life and they're not willing to put in the hard work 
okay, like the rest of all of us who putting in the work, who come from the same disposition as themselves, but we created an opportunity for ourselves and we seize the opportunities that's presented to us. So we have to stop paying patty cake, patty cake, baker's man, all right? With those who refuse to do what's necessary in order for them to be able to have what's necessary and to obtain what they want as well. Yes, this is yours truly, Amar Mari. Listen, no more patty cake, patty cake bakers, man. Take the pacify of they house, out they mouth rather. It's time to stop having a pity party with them. It's time to crash it so they can grow up, so they can go up. All right, so I want to thank everybody for tuning in on today. I want to thank my good brother Tommy Adams for stopping by. Queen Sean White in the building. Queen Darlene is in the building. My good brother King Tyrone Muhammad is in the building. Queen Sage Oates is in the building. King Kevin Wayne Johnson is in the building. And Baba Steve is in the building. All right. Thank you so much. Queen said, preach on, my brother. Thank you so much for that, Steve. Uh, brother, brother Steve said, that's right. Thank you so much, man. Greetings, man. Peace and blessings and love to everybody on today. I want to thank all of you uh, who came on. Oh, okay. Hey, brother Ty Tyrone, I love you too, man. And uh, let's connect, my brother. I would love to connect with you, man. You you know, you're putting in work out there. So I respect what you're doing, man. You know, definitely, my brother. You know what I'm saying? You're taking action. You know, you, you're helping to transform lives in the community, man. You know, so I salute you, my brother, and all the brothers that's working with you, you know what I'm saying, uh, with your program, you know, so if you would, Brother Tyrone, put your information out there, family, let's support this brother, you know, you can share, you can invite, you know, um, everything is not always monotone, you know, monetary, okay, sometimes we so focus on monetary, but listen, man, you can, you can support by, listen, just simply sharing and inviting, okay, you know, sharing what they're doing, telling people about what they're doing, making it, making them aware about what they're doing, okay, so we have more than one way that we can support, we can give our time, you know, we can give our hands, you understand, so it's not always monetary, and again, you can share uh, someone's video, you can highlight their business, okay, that's helping them out, why, because it's bringing attention to people's business where uh, it can generate a customer or a potential customer, Okay, so listen, you know, you can definitely do something, okay? We all have the ability to do something, so let's do it. Let's help each other out, okay? Uh, this, is, this is Love Challenge Friday, and that's my challenge to you on today. Love you, have a blessed weekend, and let's stop enabling uh, people who are just sitting down and not doing nothing. They need to get up off the seat of, of do nothing and start doing something. Queen Say said it's tight, but it's right. That's right, Queen. The truth is only the light. No, I think that rhyme right there. I should make a record. <laughs> Be blessed, family. Love y'all.